Hi, welcome to the Australian Outback Perfumery. You must be tired walking around out there today. And it's important that while you're out, that you smell really good in the Australian Outback. So it's a great decision that you decided to stop by our store today. We don't get many visitors, so this is exciting for me that you've chosen to come in today. Ah, what's your name? Nice to meet you. So, what do you think of our store? I know it's a little bit dusty. It could do with some refurbishment. But, look, it's the best that we can do out here. Do you mind if I just take a drink of water? Thank you. Yeah, it sure is hot out there. So, are you familiar with perfumes? Not really? Okay. Well, would you like to try this one that we just got in fresh from Dubai? This one will be sure to have you smelling like a Persian prince. As you can see, it's a little bit faded here from being out in the weather for so many years. But if you like musk-scented perfumes, then this might be a good option for you. It's actually made from the glands of a wild desert rat. Which desert? I'm not sure. Could be the Gobi Desert. So we'll, we'll put that one aside. We have a lot to get through today, so... There's no rush at all. Now, here's another one that's a little bit more um, uplifting. Very nice for the hot Australian outback. Uh, it's Versace. Yes, this is our tester. But of course, every now and then I like to spray a little bit on myself. What's that? I smell really good. Oh, thank you. Yes, I actually have this one on today. Uh, it's Versace by Versace. Uh, for men. You can see the little logo here. It comes in a nice, sleek glass bottle and nice silver cap and spray. It's very elegant. It has a very citrusy, uplifting uh, summer smell to it. You want to smell this one? Sure. Okay, we'll put that one in the potential selection, yeah? Okay, sounds good. Um, this one here is a little less known, but I find the lesser known ones usually get a lot more attention because they tend to have a very 
distinct smell. Um, this one is Bulgari Perhome. Um, so it's essentially Bulgari by Bulgari. And this one's nearly completely used up. There's only a tiny little bit left and you have to tilt it to the side to get it out. It's quite old, this one. We've lost the cap. Uh, but it smells really good. Let me have a sniff. Mm. It has... Um, uh, when, when I think of it, when I smell this, I think of something aquatic and metallic. And I think that's a really, really nice smell to wear. Very distinct if someone smells this on you they'll be sure to ask uh, what's that you're wearing ah oh, this next one this one is actually a clone of a very famous perfume so make sure not to tell anyone but some of the perfume shops out here are able to get them in and the uh, the locals, they really like them because, well, they're a lot more affordable and they still smell great. This one is called uh, Green Mustang, um, but I believe it's meant to replicate one of the Ralph Lauren perfumes. So. Green Mustang. This one has a very um, pine scented smell to it. Very citrusy. Um, nice for a summer night out. Definitely a very distinguished smell. I think it would suit you, actually. Would you like to try a little bit? Okay. Can you hold out your wrist? Thank you. Mmm. Yeah, you like this one? Oh no, don't worry, you won't get this bottle. You'll get one in a new package, of course. We wouldn't give you one so used as this. Um, this next one here is actually by David Beckham. It's called Intimately, and it's got this beautiful, this beautiful rose, dark, almost like a rum color. This dark peachy orange, like a liquid rose gold. It has a bit more of a sophisticated, subtle smell. It smells a little bit like if someone doused you in whiskey and Chardonnay or Champagne or something like that. And a little bit of um, leather in there. Yeah. That's okay. If you're not too fond of this one, we can move on to the next. So, what else do you have planned here while you're in the outback of Australia? I know. Yeah, I hope we get some good reviews on Trivago for our little shop out here. It's um, it's not it's not the easiest thing to make sales, but we get by, we get by. This one here is one of my favorites. It's um, called Pinot Silvestre. And it's, I originally smelt this one in Italy. And whenever I smell it, it just takes me right back there. It comes in this cute pine cone shaped bottle. And it has only one smell. And that's pine. So when you smell it, 
smells like you're walking through a dense, foggy pine forest. Definitely not something you'd see in the outback here of Australia. Do you want to smell this one? This one here doesn't actually have a sprayer, but you just sort of dab it on your hands and then apply it where you like. Yeah, it smells good, doesn't it? This one here, this one here is quite popular with um, the younger generation. It's by Diesel and it comes in this cool hand glass container. Um, well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. So, which one do you think you'd like to buy? The Versace? That's a good choice. Yes. Yes, hopefully we'll be here next time you visit. It was really nice meeting you. Of course. And, you know, Sharon will get that wrapped up for you. She'll put it in a little bag for you and um, she can take your payment. And it was, it was really nice meeting you. Enjoy your stay here in Outback Australia and, and let your friends know about this little perfume shop we have here. Yes, of course. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.